Hi everyone, welcome back to Dynamic Sport Adventures product review section. Today we're going to be reviewing some survival bracelets sent to us by Greg and the crew from Life Support Ultimate Survival Gear. Greg and the crew sent two of these out and inside these patent pending survival bracelets you'll see a list of things that are embedded inside the weave of the survival bracelet. So we're going to take one apart and we're going to utilize some of those items that are in there today in the field to show you what you can do with some of the items that are stored inside this patent pending survival bracelet by Greg and the crew from Life Support, the ultimate survival gear. So we're going to start taking apart this one here. They're, they come in a couple different buckle styles. They also make different styles and lanyards and whatnot. So check them out. Check their website out, which we'll have at the end of the video. This one has a survival bra uh, whistle in it. This bracelet has a compass on the top of it. So there's different styles. There's lanyards and there's different products that Greg and the crew are starting to come out with. So inside here, if you could see that kind of shiny material in there, um, you'll look on it and we'll list the items that are in these survival bracelets. So I'm going to take this apart and then we're going to be editing the video throughout the series here so we can show you the, some of the products that are in it. And basically what I'm going to do is going to start unraveling the bracelet and then we're going to cut the video and edit it. But that's all we're going to do. Just like any other survival bracelet, you can start uh, unraveling it and you'll have your 550 paracord. And also inside the 550 is obviously the, the smaller strings, uh, seven strands that you can take that apart and use also. It's got a quite a good length of uh, survival uh, paracord with it. And he's stating that there's about 14 to 15 feet of paracord with this when you take this apart. There is locking the, buck, the bracelet buckle, aluminum foil, snare and saw wire, fishing line, fishing hook, split shot sinkers, a uh, little plastic rubber fishing lure, thread, sewing needle, waterproof matches, match striker, and char cord. So today what I want to do is take this apart. Once we get it apart, we'll edit the video, show you the items in it. Then we're going to start a fire with my flint and steel and the char, uh, the piece of char cord that are inside this, hopefully. And then we're going to move from that right to uh, the fishing stuff. And we're going to try to use the fishing, utilize the fishing gear that's in this and try to actually catch a fish with this today. Kind of give you a, a brief uh, overview of what you can do with some of the stuff in it. So stay tuned as we edit the video and we'll start taking this apart. Okay guys, welcome back. I took a couple few minutes to take apart that survival bracelet. And it took me only about a minute to take the paracord apart, unravel the, uh, it took me another minute or so to unravel the, the aluminum foil that comes with it. You'll see in there the matches with a striker that comes inside the survival bracelet. There's three pieces of char cord. There's a length of uh, fishing line, about 20 feet of line. You can see the hooks here and a little lure and inside the one piece of char cord is a uh, sewing needle and then you'll see some sewing thread so you have a lot of things to utilize here you have snare wire that's inside there and we have still photos like I said I'll enter space the still photos throughout the video to show you the process when it's taken apart and actually what's inside this uh, so next step we're going to do is we're going to take the char cloth and we're going to go out back outside and we're going to try to get a fire going. I'm going to do it the harder way even though it comes with a couple matches, two to three matches and a striker I'm going to try using my flint and steel and I'm actually going to try to get a fire going with just that piece of char cord um, and I'll, I'll gather tinder up ahead of time and we're going to try it that way just to say that maybe the matches got wet but we can still try to use the char cord so we're going to try it the harder way so stay tuned for the next segment. Thanks. Okay guys welcome back. I've moved everything outside into my fire pit out back I've gathered some white pine twigs for tinder. I've shaved some red cedar bark with the edge of my knife to get a fine red cedar dust. I've collected a little bit of white birch and some cattail for my tinder nest. Remember one is none, two is one. It comes with the matches and striker. I'm healthy right now. I'm not cold. I'm not hypothermic. I'm going to actually save my matches for uh, if we have to be out in the wilderness survival situation for more than a day or so and I'm actually going to use my flint and steel to try to get the pieces of char cord going that come inside the kit um, and I do that for a reason that right now I'm not really stressed I can get a fire going more with a primitive and we always want to bring redundancy 
in gear and so one of the things I bring in is two or three different ways of making fire but again the, the uh, kit comes with inside that survival bracelet comes with matches and a striker and charcoal and aluminum foil um, I'm going to save those matches like I said and I'm just going to try to get this piece of uh, charcoal going and then I'm going to try to get my tinder nest going show you how using the stuff that's inside that survival bracelet how we can get a fire going and then we're going to move on to the next step which is the fishing lure and fishing part of it Okay, so we got that going. If you can see that, then we're going to transfer that to my red cedar. And we're going to wrap the cattail and white birch around that. Now that I got a good ember going, I'm going to set it into the fire pit so I don't burn my hands. We had a little flame. I'm going to put a little couple little sticks on. Get our white birch going. White birch burns at a low uh, flash point. Same thing as red cedar. Utilizing the stuff that's inside that survival bracelet. Again, I saved the matches, so you could just as easily use the striker that comes with it and the matches and start to fire a lot easier. But now I can save my matches. It's not raining out. It's not cold right now. So depending on the situation, use what you have to use when you need to use it and save your easier stuff maybe when you're stressed or you're injured and you need a little bit easier method. Now we're going to move on. We'll get the fishing cord that comes with it, the fishing line and the lures together and we're going to go move on to the next section. Stay tuned. Okay guys, welcome back again. Third segment, we're going to try out the uh, fishing line that came with the bracelet, inside the bracelet along with all the other items that were in there. It's about 20 feet of fishing line. It does come with a couple different hooks and a couple split shots. So again, I'm going to try the harder method. In my opinion, it's got a little lure that comes with the hook and I push that on the end of the hook and I put two split shots. I've also tied the, the string to one end of a stick and I'm going to stick that in my pocket so I can throw this out and keep that so it doesn't lose it. And I'm going to try to get the line out and I'm going to try to cast it out there. Again, survival situation, um, you could use the hook <clears throat> with a worm that you can get from underneath a log or a grub, whatever you need to do in a sl slow moving stream or in a little pond. Today I'm going to try this out in this little pond here. So I'm just going to cast it out as far as I can and kind of try to retrieve it back. Hopefully you can catch a fish for you. So it cast out pretty good. Jerk it, maybe jig with it a little bit. See what we can get with it. And I'll try to edit this out so if it takes too long to get one, hopefully we do get one that we can uh, not have the video 100 minutes long. Just keep retrieving it, working it back like a regular lure. Two casts, we're gonna try again. I just actually got a little hit. Oh. So third cast and I did get a little strike. Let me 
again, if this video ends up being long, taking too long, I'll just edit the video and I'll cut out part of the segment until I catch one. So let's keep trying it. Hopefully you can see that. I just got another hit. Got to pay attention a little more, I guess. Another cast. All right, and there we go. So it took me about four casts, and there we go. Got a nice little bass. That's plain enough for a meal. Nice little largemouth bass, if I can get a hold of them here. With that lure that comes with the uh, Life Support Ultimate Survival Gear, Survival Bracelet. Pat and Penning, Greg and the crew, did an excellent job. Thanks for watching. Again, we've got to throw, throw some still photos in there of some of the items that were inside the survival bracelet, but it's uh, obviously tested out really, really well. And we're going to post uh, on the video, we'll post Greg's website and his Facebook page to check it out. Patent pending, life support, ultimate survival gear, survival bracelet. Get outdoors, happy hiking. Thanks for watching Dynamic Sport Adventures product review section.